Hello, this is Dr. Armand bringing you another exciting session today. In this session, we'll be looking at how to research your tra transition metal complex on the web CSD to help in writing your lab report for the lab five experiment. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So the first thing you need to do is, is go to the uh, My UTSA website, click on, if you scroll down, click past libra libraries, you click on databases, select chemistry, and it's the second database on the chemistry list. So this is the Cambridge structure, structural database commonly referred to as WebCSD. So we click on that. Now do keep in mind if you're off campus, you may have to log in with your uh, UTSA credentials. And it'll bring you to this page where we do a simple search. So simple searches are searches that involve a compound name, author name, for example, or later on in the semester when we look at ref codes, you would do a simple search to research that. But for this session, we're going to be doing a structure search and we're going to draw our uh, transition metal complex so that we can search and see what articles are available. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this drop down menu here and we're going to start drawing our saccharinate ion. So we come to the drop down menu. You want to select the six aromatic ring. So this is a six membered aromatic ring, commonly called a benzene ring. We click on it, we put it in our sketch. Next, we want to build the five membered ring that protrudes from one of the sides of the benzene ring. So we're going to select carbon and select single bond. Now, single bond is not visible here. You can click on the drop down menu and select the appropriate bond. So again, when you see the green circle around the carbon, you click and drag, it produces a carbon-carbon bond. And then click and drag until you've created that five-membered ring. So notice how the green circle appears when the, when the bond is touching another atom. This is the backbone. Now we need to change some of the atoms here. So this carbon atom here should be a nitrogen atom. So we go, we click nitrogen, change that to a nitrogen. This carbon here should be a sulfur atom. So we click on sulfur, make that a sulfur atom. And then we need some double bond oxygen atoms. So we click on oxygen and make sure we click on the double bond. Again, if double bond is not visible, under the drop down menu, you can find the double bond. So we click double bond, you get the green circle, click and drag and we make our double bond oxygen atoms. Now to help minimize uh, search results, we need to add some hydrogen atoms. So you click hydrogen, click single bond, and we're gonna add hydrogen atoms uh, to this. So this is what your saccharinate ligand should look like. If it doesn't look like this, you've done something incorrect. Now we need to select our metal that was assigned to us by our TA. So if we scroll down. And in this example, I'm just going to use copper, but whatever your metal, your TA assigned, you would select it from the periodic table and you just place it next to the saccharinate ion. Again, do not uh, connect it to the saccharinate ion. You just put it next to it. Under match condition, shown here, make sure you select substructure. So it's gonna look with all the different structures that have this component in it. So now we click search, it's gonna search the database for all these types of structures. <clears throat> and so we have a hit of 102 results. You just need to scroll through, find some structure you'd like that contains saccharinate and your metal. Make sure you're able to download the article and that's the structure you can use to help route your lab report. And so if we look here, if you look at the chemical diagram, the part highlighted in brown is your substructure that you've drawn. So this contains a saccharinate and copper. Also in the three-dimensional structure, if I rotate it, 
the part highlighted in a lime green color is our substructure a component. So if you wanted to, you could use this structure as your structure for your lab report. Now, just bear in mind that if you want to use it, if you scroll down to associated uh, publications, you click on the link. If our university has access to it, you can download the article. Now, let me just click on another one. Let's say we want to use uh, this one here. And again, you see the highlighted brown part is our substructure that we've drawn on the template on the previous page. And if we look at the lime green component, the lime green component is our substructure as well. So this contains a copper and our saccharinate. Again, your TA will assign you your metal to research. So if you want to use this structure, you come down here to where it says Associated Publications. You click on the DOI link, and it'll pop up the paper. Now, if our university has access to this journal, when you view PDF, you'll be able to uh, download it here. Now, there are a few key things to read when you're looking at this article. Uh, the first one is the abstract. So the abstract is a general overview of what the paper is about. Why are they looking into this system? What are the key findings uh, from the experiments? Now, what's important for you to read is the introduction shown here. So the introduction explains why are they looking at, uh, for example, saccharinate uh, ligand? Why are they looking at this uh, transition metal? And here you get a lot of background onto why this system is being investigated. So make sure you read over the introduction. And if you continue scrolling down, there will be a conclusion section as well. So the things to read are the abstract, introduction, and conclusion. And so the conclusion is at the end of the article. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see here the conclusion. So this tells you the key findings uh, from the experiment. So to help in your introduction, you would read the abstract introduction, excuse me, to help in your introduction for your lab report, you would read the abstract introduction and conclusion in your article and write a summary of this article. Now you also need to include a picture and that picture is called a thermal ellipsoid plot. And so, it needs to be the thermal ellipsoid plot that contains saccharinate and your metal in it. So this contains saccharinate and the metal. Some articles are black and white, some other articles are in color. It just depends. Now you, you will need to create your own figure heading. Do not use this figure heading here. Uh, you need to come up with your own figure heading. Now, sometimes instead of thermal ellipsoid plot, it's called an ORTEP view. Uh, they're the same things. So you would cut and paste this into your report with the appropriate heading and reference this image to this article. And so that's how we use the, that's how we search for the metal saccharinate complex on the web CSD. And then these are the different sections that we look at when summarizing this article as a paragraph in our lab five introduction of our lab report. So I hope this was informative. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. On that note, Dr. Armand, signing off.